Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a world over, of JK. trouble. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 15 wins, three losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia. Ty Bam Bam to Evasa. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds, fighting out of Paris, France, Surreal Bagamaka! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Dateline, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the fight capital of the world. With respect to anywhere else you want to go, if I'm a fighter, if I'm an athlete in combat sports, this is where I want to go. You want to fight in Vegas, and now this beautiful T-Mobile Arena is the backdrop for tonight's great UFC event. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big punch land. And there comes the separation now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And that left hook landed on the button. There's another one. And they clinch once again. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. 
Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability That's to a land scramble anyway. right there. Beautiful transition. We march on three minutes to go. Big punch from the clinch. He's got the turnover in that kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's in them. Oh, nice. Nice. Leg kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Just missed with the left there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So just over 20 total strikes have now connected for Ty Tuivas. He's so committed to body punching. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Single collar tie now. He blocks the punch. To Ivasa's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Round two winding down. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice straight there by Ty Chu. Awesome. Oh, the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. That shot blocked by Tui Vasa. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, that's a nice strike. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. If you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. That right hand landed. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, and there is another knee. He throws that knee almost as if it's a punch. He's landed several in this round, and now you can see some of the damage really starting to show on his opponent. Nice punch there. Nice combination there by Ty Tuivasa. All right, single collar tie now. Body shot. And they separate. 
All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weak. Shot there, DC. He is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. And now he's got the tie clinch. It tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Round three next. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous right, right. two rounds. Your right. expectations here as this right. next round gets on. I expect the action to really good. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down there. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of he's jumping. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Back to the feet now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. He lands flush with that right hand. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Nice liver shot lands. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. He's attacking it on it. He's attacking on board now. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, that's going to do it in a quick tap from there as yeah, he gets he's it got done it. by the submission. He got the arm straight. He got the pressure with his hips to force his opponent to tap, and he wins the fight. He got him! Yeah, that's about as good as he's looked in the grappling realm, and he stayed focused on the arm bar. He kept going back to the well for it, and ultimately, in the middle of this fight, he gets the tap. That is a big finish for that young man here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 53 seconds of the third round. To bring the winner by tap out, Surreal Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win,